Why? Tech Rabbit here again. Yeah, we're going to continue building the um, 3D printer. Now the next phase is to um, get the power supply installed. So let's have a look. So here I've collected some of the parts that are needed. Um, let's see if I can actually use the mini cap. So we need these leads, with the two blue ends and the two uh, red ends. And then we need those screws too, and those screws too. So let's get started. Ah, then of course we need the actual power supply and then the uh, losing power emergency cable or it sends the signal to the printer that the power is about to permanently die and that the printer should panic and do its thing so just reorganize a bit okay now I just turn the printer move some stuff out of the way we need the power supply and then we need to go to step 26 which is assembling the PCU we're actually hanging this on the printer on its bottom screws so let's have a look so here is the corner the power supply should go and we need to in those screws. Oh, to change the bit. in not too far just to start to still be able to slide the power supply because it's actually the power supply is going to end up being higher than, um, than what um, it will be when it's on the end. So. Oh, that's strange. It seems like they need to come out a bit. But that's not thick. still to be able to slide it but it really won't fall down. So and then so that was 28 and then there's 29 and that means we need to fasten it just get the camera into place. both right. 
So now it's these screws. Oh, I wonder if I have the x-axis in the way. So I just have to get the x-axis out of the way because there's two. Here's one and here's the other one. Oh there. And now we need to try and lift it. Oh that's not easy. Comes out a bit too. How am I going to see where the screw falls? Okay, so one needs to lift the power supply so that one can get the screws in. Uh, it was a bit tricky to get on. Uh, you have to lift this, and it was so slippery against the side here, so it just like slipped up. And, and it was actually not easy to see exactly what level this. The screw was on, but I got it in now. And this one should probably go in there. Was there a tightening instruction? Because they were worried about the frame getting deformed. Okay, still not. to check that oh my camera died oh. Oh, that's the GoPro that died So, battery change. Anyway, um, uh, what they want you to make sure is that the power supply is flush against the frame here. So it feels like it's, it looks all straight. And then once you tighten these, final tightening. The actual final tightening on the bottom screws also. Yep, then I should go in and tighten the ones that are at the bottom. So that's the power supply mechanically in place. Okay, and turn the printer a little bit up, slide down so we can actually um, get easier access to the connectors. Because now we have to connect the main power cables, which are these, and um, look at the instructions. Four of them, four connectors, and then it gives here the first two are positive and the first two are negative. <laughs> so, and then we need to make sure that we get the flat end down. And we Start with the first pause and it needs to go underneath the washer. So, like that. And then we tighten it down. And then we need to put a minus, which is the black. Which we go in here. 
Well, it actually doesn't, because it's common rail, so it doesn't really matter which order you put it. But don't put the plus on the minus the other way around, because that would be very bad news. And you'll probably have a dead power supply and or dead printer very quickly. I mean, they make a much bigger deal about connecting. They have like sections in the instruction book, one one cable at a time. So I gave you the fast version. Okay, and then it's the power power loss panic signal. So the printer electronics knows that the mains power has disappeared, and it will also lose power very soon. So it can it can hopefully terminate or park the print in a in a managed position and then I don't really know which way around does this go? Oh, that way around. So, so that's in there. So it only goes in one way. Unless there's something to do with cable. Cable management. So that was step 30, 21, That's individual steps for connecting the power cables, and then, yep, and then it's just that this should join that cable, but there are no tie ties right now. Okay, and um, Haribo time. For those that still <laughs> this is what every, what everybody would like to do is to actually put the and I also actually did this already is to put the I did it by mistake is to put the steel sheet that came with the package on the printer bed one one should actually not do that yet. the power supply it went quite easily so uh, if you like this video consider subscribing you know press like um, you know show this to others if they're in the same process and um, yeah I'll see you in the next one <laughs>